Hello everyone. Um, this video is for Kate. She's Crafting Kate on YouTube and she wanted to know if it was possible to weld a word into a shape so that she just could have um, a negative. So I'm going to show you uh, quickly how to do that and I apologize in advance. This video is going to be kind of fast. Um, if you're new to Silhouette Studio and you don't know how to weld, you're not real comfortable with welding letters or welding shapes together or finding some of the functions in the menus, I have um, videos on all of that if you go to my YouTube channel. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle on my mat, and I'm not using this for any particular project, but I'm actually going to go ahead and resize it to four by four because I'm using a scrap sheet of paper. So I have that selected, and the next thing I'm going to do is go to my offset menu and I'm going to create an external offset and you just click the word offset and it'll do it for you automatically. Now, if you wanted your corner square, you would just click the one above it. But for me, it doesn't matter. This is just a test run. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go to my left hand side of my screen and click the letter A with the little cursor next to it. And that is your um, text menu. And then I'm going to click on my mat and I'm going to type a word. Okay, so you see my word here on the screen. It's already in the font that I want, so I don't need to do anything. But if you wanted a different font, all you'd have to do is scroll here on the right hand side and select the one that you wanted. But since this is already the font I want, I'm going to leave it alone. So I'm going to click off the word and click back. That way I can resize it to fit my shape. And I need it to be just so that the tails are touching. All right, and that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to leave it. And the next thing I'm going to do is weld this together. So I'm going to right click and hit weld. Now I already see there's some kind of weird spots. So I'm going to hit control Z and then right click, ungroup so that I can manipulate each letter individually. And I've done this a lot. <laughs> so I can usually tell when the lines are lined up without zooming in. But if you can't see if the lines are smooth, just go ahead and click this zoom in at the top uh, function at the top of the menu bar and you'll be able to tell a little, a little more easily. Okay, so now that I like where my um, lines are overlapping, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of this. Now, as you can see, the E, the L, the L, and the O are selected, and I didn't get that H. And how you can select this H without going back is hold down your Shift key on your keyboard and then click it. So now that the whole word is selected, I'm going to right click and hit Weld. Now, this is... Um, not complete the way it is. What's going to happen if I send this to the silhouette, and I'll actually show you by going on the cut line, is it's going to cut through this portion here. So the word is gonna be separate from the box and it's actually gonna take a little chunk out of the box. So that's not what I want. I need to go a little bit further. Now what I will say, this is my uh, little disclaimer right here. I'm using the designer edition of Sil Silhouette Studio this may not work in the regular version. The same tools are there in terms of the eraser and such that I'm about to use, but it used to not work very well. Um, I made the choice to upgrade to Silhouette Studio Designer Edition because of some of the extra features and I got a really good deal on the, the software. I was really on the fence about it, but um, I took advantage of one of the sales they had during the holidays and got um, a discount. So if you're considering purchasing Silhouette Studio Designer Edition because you want to make your own stuff or you want a little more uh, power to your software, I would recommend trying to hold out until um, they do a promotion. But anyways, so you can see I'm zoomed in really close on that word hello, and I'm going to select the eraser tool on the left hand side. And I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, and select that eraser tool again, and I'm going to erase 
where the overlap is into the frame and the edge of the frame. And you'll see that it's going to automatically um, kind of reshape in the lines. That's fine, but if it does something you don't like, just hit Control Z and it'll undo the, uh, the way it manipulated the lines, but it'll leave your cuts or your what you've erased. So that side's fine. I'm going to scroll over to the other side and I'm going to do the same. Oop, too far. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to hit the eraser tool and I'm, going to, and I'm going to take out this tail off the O and this piece of the frame that's in the middle. Now, luckily for me, I went off a little too high, but it ended up putting the uh, line back in for me. Sometimes that's a blessing and sometimes it's a curse. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out. And now when I click my cut line, you'll see that this is it's going to skip where the O is hooked on and where the H is hooked on in those two places so it's stuck on the frame. And you'll be able to use this part and this part. So um, I hope this helps. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.